So if you take the northern province of Sri Lanka, it has a long history of strong cooperatives. Starting in the 1920s, different kinds of cooperatives were formed, drawing on the long history of education in the north. Uh, so for example, the first cooperative house hospital in South and Southeast Asia was formed in the 1930s in Jaffna. Uh, similarly, fisheries cooperatives, we even formed cooperatives to export tobacco to Kerala uh, before independence. So it is this kind of development that led by the 1970s to many people being employed in cooperatives. But with the long protracted civil war, uh, cooperatives had a huge uh, setback. Not only the cooperatives, the entire northern economy was destroyed by the war. Post-war reconstruction led to um, the government taking policies of only implementing policies of large infrastructure and also expanding credit. And they thought people can take loans and then start building their livelihoods. And they also thought that the private sector would come and develop the North. But a few years into the post-war reconstruction period, we found that all that credit only led to a huge indebtedness crisis. And there was very little private sector initiatives and livelihoods were in disarray. So it created a huge post-war crisis in terms of the economy. And it is in that context that some of us start to think about, again, drawing on the cooperative as a model of development. In, uh, in that way, uh, some cooperatives were starting to do well after the war, but many of them were not even able to restart. So while today there are 2,000 registered cooperatives, 2,000 cooperatives that were active uh, during and before the war, only 1,200 cooperative societies, village level societies, large cooperatives such as multi-purpose cooperative societies. Every village has a fisheries cooperative. There are uh, Palmyra development cooperatives, which uh, toddy tappers are involved in. There are dairy cooperatives, there are credit cooperatives. So 1,200 cooperatives are active, but many of them remained weak. Now, how were we going to, first of all, develop the cooperatives and then also help develop the region was the big challenge. And that led to the idea that maybe there was a need for a cooperative development bank as a federation. In 2019, uh, a number of us got together and we registered the Northern Cooperative Development Bank uh, to be able to lead the cooperative movement. One, we knew that after a long war, that the commercial banks are not going to be involved in development. You need a development bank. A development bank means they provide all kinds of support, business plans, investment capital, working capital, technology, all that has to be provided after a war to develop an economy and the same with cooperatives. We also felt that cooperatives can do well, but when there's a crisis, when there's a shock, when there's a drought or the kind of COVID crisis or what we are seeing now with the economic crisis, cooperatives can find it very hard to survive. So we also need cooperative federations that can support cooperatives during that kind of a crisis. So the Northern Cooperative Development Bank is the federation of the 1,200 active cooperative societies in the North. And we have to try to help these cooperatives survive and grow. Within the Northern Cooperative Development Bank, which is a development bank, but also the Federation of Cooperatives, we are fully owned by 
these cooperative societies in the north, we have four important divisions, which is all that we needed after the war. We have a development banking division, which provides working capital and investment capital, and more importantly, business plans so that cooperatives can move forward with plans to ensure that they reach profitability. We have a division for technology because after the war, there's a huge lag in technology. We don't have enough technological uh, know-how in the North. There aren't enough engineers. There aren't enough technicians, machine operators. So we have to help build up that technology skill. So we have a technology division. We also have to do research because the economy has changed. There are new challenges that are coming up. So that has been another challenge that we have taken up as NCDB to do the research and to find new ways of developing cooperatives. Finally, even if there is production, even if there is technology, if we can't market what is produced, it doesn't reach the customers. So we have also come up with a marketing division to market the needs of the producers, the small producers in the north who can bring it to the cooperatives. And we have 500 cooperative shops in the northern province. So that itself is a market. So what one cooperative produces, we try to connect it to the market. So the Northern Cooperative Development Bank is at the center of a network of cooperatives and our idea is to help connect these cooperatives. But ultimately, the success of cooperatives, of the cooperative movement, depends on our member societies, how strong they are, how much they can produce, how much they can help develop the, uh, this huge cooperative sector. But I actually like to think of it not as a sector, but as the cooperative movement, because the movement should be able to mobilize people towards production, to support each other, to create forms of solidarity. And ultimately that depends not so much on the Federation, but our individual cooperative members and their members and their cooperative spirit, because cooperative spirit is ultimately about cooperation of people working together. And I think now with this severe economic crisis, the worst economic crisis that we are facing in the history of our country, we need solidarity. We need cooperation between people. We need cooperation between cooperative societies. But I hope that this won't just remain with the North, that there will be cooperations, cooperation between cooperatives and the people across the country, from the North to the South and East to the West, that we can work together to help our people go through this crisis.